I love an eyeshadow <laughs> palette. I'm not gonna lie. The 12 shadow palettes. Exactly. I, I get a little confused. I'm always, even though I love them and I buy them, I'm always wondering like, okay, so where where do those colors go on my lid? It's, it's a little overwhelming. It's a lot, it's, it's a, a lot. lot. It's a lot. So guess what? We're bringing you, the brush is completely free and it's double-ended because oh, the pointy end is gonna allow you to turn the shadow into eyeliner. Mm -hmm. I probably, in one of these choices, would even try it on my brows, but I digress. <laughs> the brush is free. This right here is a brand new choice called Quartz. Mm -hmm. That trio of shades, the family of That's shades, right. oh, thank you, yeah. sorry, Quartz over here. Yeah. Um, this trio of shades is all complementary. They go together and we're gonna show you where they go but here's a big skip ahead. Yep. Numbers on the back underneath the label. Yes. Um, then this is our nudes, yep. which is just beautiful and easy and the consistency is velvety rich. This entire duo is completely new. Mm -hmm. The event price expires at the end of the day. You're gonna see Sam wearing this. Do you know if she's in quartz or, or nudes? Sam, I think is in nudes. I'm wearing quartz tonight. All right, all right. I love it, I love it, I love it. And the thing is, the reason why I chose three shades is because in those big giant palettes, I bet you at home probably only use about three shades, right? And the rest save for special occasions. So I made them all just three shadows or more than you should wear on any eye at a time. So I made it really easy. The nude, I mean, look at, she's wearing nude, which is so beautiful, very light. I give you a diagram on the bottom of each of these compacts. So you can do a light shade or you can do a more heavy shade. It's completely up to you. And it's basically color by numbers. It's like having me in your bathroom because I'm showing you, oh, if you want a light look, you do. Oh, this Stay is so great. Goes. You peel back yeah. and you're like, oh, how do I do? Oh, that's how oh, I do it. One, one two, two, three. three. It's all numbered, whether you want minimal and natural or whether you want to go smoky. Okay, so it's so interesting that you par paired these exact three shades yep. together and in that choice too. Exactly. How do you know where they go? So um, that's why I have the diagram on the back and you can see on this diagram that's coming up, there's a natural look where you put the light shade across the whole thing, the mid-tone in the crease, and then you use the dark shade as a liner. That's the look that I'm wearing, which we can do a close up later on. Smoky look is where you take the darkest shade, number three, put it on the lid, then it's a gradation of color. So you get it right every time. And these two eye looks work on any shape of eye and any age because it's a buildable shadow. These shadows are so like pigmented and beautiful, but again, they're not chalky, they're not dry. Um, oh, and by the way, this tip, you gotta see this tip on this line, this liner, brush. Every makeup artist I know now uses this brush. It's the best brush in the world to line your eyes quickly with shadow. So we're just sweeping right on top of her upper lid in this beautiful quartz palette. And it really goes well with that eggplant liner because I'm wearing the eggplant liner I would get and both. the quartz shade. I'd get the nudes and the quartz. Yeah. Look up with your eyes. And I'm going to grab the quartz. Underneath. It's really hard to put any sort of shadow under your eyes without it falling down, but with this beautiful little brush, wow, in a flash. That and then is flip it over. Beautiful. And you use the mid-tone right in the crease. Now what's also exciting about this quartz palette, this shade, the light shade, is almost like this wild iridescent, beautiful highlight color. I've never seen it. It's almost like a moonlit glow. So this is the quartz. Now if you're at home and you're like, okay, what shade should I choose? What's interesting about the nude shade is it's a really basic, beautiful daytime look. You can smoke it up a little bit if you want. And if you wanna go with quartz, quartz has a little bit more color. So it's a little bit more kick. So it's completely up to you. I would get both because daytime shades go on nude at nighttime. Just punch it up with this oh, kind of, isn't that beautiful? Is it okay if I wet the brush? Wetting the brush is Because that fine. changes everything. Yes, now you're turning changer. these shadows into almost like liquid liner. That's exactly right. And I made that brush so it can do that because these can be used <gasps> wet or dry. Oh, Mindy. I put the highlighter on with my fingertip and then I wet the brush and use that as a, you get a perfect cat eye if you do that. But yet it's not as difficult to use as a liquid or as a cream liner. Mm. Wet your shadow, apply it, and it's foolproof. It's not hard to do. It's very, very simple. All right, guys, the brush is free. And the brush is everything. The brush, <laughs> this, this pointed end, you are right, is a gift. Yes, um, it is a gift. The brush is free. Mm. The trio mm -hmm. of shades in either the nudes or the brand new quartz, mm -hmm. you're gonna walk us through, that's a perfect visual. Yep. 
This is great. So you can see that we've got all the colors here. The nudes are on top. So if you're more of a natural girl, then these are the colors you want to go with. If you want a little bit more drama, then I suggest going for um, the quartz palette and just kick it up a notch. Or both, day and night. <laughs> what do you think in your time on the show, uh, when you interacted with real women yeah. and obviously they, they had struggles with makeup, yes. what were some of the chief um, concerns yeah, and, and struggles that women had in terms of makeup and makeup think, application? Well, first of all, it starts from within. I think that they were frustrated and had given up. So by me pointing out their beauty, showing them an easy way, they felt better about themselves. You're gonna feel good when you use these products because you're gonna get it right. But shadow choice was one of the number one things they had a problem Why? with. Why? Number one, what color do I choose? And number two, where do I put it? Yep. So I always did step by step. That's why I like to number things, color by numbers. So it takes the guesswork out of it. And I choose looks that are you, that work on everybody. You can have a small eye, a big eye, and you can wear both the natural look or the more smoky look, and it's gonna work because it's classic. Classic doesn't go out of style. Polish never painted doesn't go out of style. By the way, 400 in each choice, okay? So there's a nude choice, or excuse me, yes, a nude choice here, and a quartz brand new mm -hmm. choice here. Are you telling everybody that either one of these can go with any skin tone? Or That's if, right. Okay, so it doesn't matter. You literally choose. That's right. This is really helpful to me. Can I say yeah. this again? Yeah, put that on Because this up. is how I see it come to light. Right, and when I build these products, um, you know, when I'm manu, or, um, Creating so these, these products, are nudes. I make these sure that they're buildable because that way, if you do want to go a little smokier, I mean, look when we wet the brush, what happens? We're going to just show you how much. Oh, look at how wet much the brush that goes when you wet it. So you really can control it. It's up to you, but that brush is uh, fantastic. But so if you want more of a heavy look, you wet it. If you want a lighter look, you can use it dry. But these shades do work on so many women because it's up to you to adjust how far you want to go. Oh That's my gosh. It's about. Wetting the brush, it's just going to change everything. Right? <laughs> it's going to change everything. It just changes the pigment. It goes a little oh, bit deeper. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like watercolor. Yeah, it is watercolor. Um, okay, yeah. so. Stay tuned, because I feel like this whole hour has us building a face. We've had mascara, we've had eyeliner, we've got the eyeshadow. What is still to come? We're gonna tackle foundation. Oh, good. We're gonna tackle blush, getting you the right